Hey guys, Justin here. Quick note, I just wanna give a quick thanks to all of my channel members. I really appreciate you all for supporting me. And if you wanna be a member of yourself for only $1.99 per month, you get access to my early bird guide videos, telemetry, and more. All right, let's get to the lap. It's a trade-off though. You're straightening out the exit at the expense of not having as much momentum. Tough, man. I'm getting up, up it's on one of those like, if you don't get it how you want it, you can mm -hmm. say, okay, I'll do it this way instead. Right. And it kind of I found when I was practicing the long run, I ended up doing that like probably every third lap or so. Or just be like, eh, this is fine. What are some of the fastest times in another track? Ooh, Hill ran a 4 1 in here. There's a lap. Well, shit. 20.36. 20.36. All right, let's take a look at that. So I thought for a while this would be a second lap hot lap, but I lowered the brake bias a bit and it becomes a first lap hot lap in my opinion if I lower it to 65. Now for the race, I think 68 is where it's at. I tried lowering it in the race a little bit and it just wasn't it. So we're gonna lower it for just the hot lap here. And so what we're gonna do, pretty standard, we get up by the wall, but be careful because this part here is not banked this little part above the white line. So if you get your tires up there, it's not doing anything for you. So just don't get right by the wall, just get your tires kind of like right here. And then I might, yeah, I didn't quite get up there. So that I can turn back down. And again, we're gonna make a straight line exit of the corner. Okay, that's all we do. Full throttle early as we unload the wheel, might get a little loose, so we have to modulate a little bit, but it didn't seem too uncomfortable. So we have a good run to the line. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna aim my lefts almost exactly at this seam right here. My lefts, I want my lefts to either be on the seam or a little bit below the seam. So this kind of like this area right here. You don't wanna be above it because uh, it won't hook you at all. You wanna get that hook from the banking. So you see how I cut, my car kind of hooks as it's coming back up from the banking and the less you can be down there, the better, because that means you have a better entry angle, but that, that hook really just kind of keeps your car uh, rotating. So what the line ends up being is we enter about half a car width low. I might even think I'm a little bit too low here. Then we come back up above for a little bit, and then we diamond it back down. So just a really small diamond. We don't want to make the diamond too big. The small of a diamond as we can make it, and you'll feel the car want to turn back down the hill. And that's when I go on the gas. So you see, I'm kind of coasting and I ease the car to half throttle. And then at some point it turns back down the hill, even staying on half throttle. So like I didn't do anything to the throttle to make it want to turn back down the hill. I just stayed at half throttle and it'll get there eventually. And once it gets there, that's when I start smoothly raising my throttle. So I smoothly raise my throttle to a point, And then because this is hot lap and I can push, I try to get my wheel straight as quick as possible so that I could go full throttle. Again, huge thing, arc on short tracks. If you are full throttle, when the wheel is still turned, you will spin the tires, you will lose momentum, you will get loose. And that's all bad things you don't want to happen. So I do this trick where I open up my wheel really, really fast, even though I still need to make the corner, just so that I can just get the tiniest bit of looseness here to make the final turn for me. And that allows me to be pretty aggressive. So that was a, a pretty good one and two. And so now here's a good three and four where I am aiming again for my left side to be on this patch and I want it to come back up and kind of hook the apron or sorry, hook the, hook the groove a little bit. So left sides, hook. You see, I slowed down a little more than I did in a lot of attempts here. And that really is good because it allows me to get back on the throttle super duper early. So this was what I was missing from my previous laps. So this is kind of why the relative is going crazy. I slow the car down more than usual. You see, I give up about three hundredths here just to get the car turned down really early. And then we're gonna shortcut the exit. So if you gas up and your car's not angled to make this straight line exit, it's gonna have to go a further distance and kind of you have to lift to not hit the wall because you get loose because the banking doesn't really help you there. So with this, I'm getting loose, but that's okay because I'm shortcutting the track and not really losing any momentum. And you see, I gained like a full 10th 
from the point where I slowed my car down the most to the exit of the corner. So I'll swatch that one more time without any brakes. So half brake, bring it down to a drag, let it come back up into the groove. Partial throttle turns it back down the hill, then go full throttle once your car starts hooking. And that is loose as heck, but that's fast. When you, when you get this transition back down into this patch, it's gonna get loose. And if your ball's to the walling it like I was here, you just say, I'm gonna go full throttle because my car is pretty much straight and we're gonna rodeo this. And that's essentially what happened. And that's how I was able to carry all that speed through the corner, even though I did the cut down and shortcut it. So that's a pretty good lap there. Uh, I don't know if I can get much faster than that. And I was even a bit slower than that in qualifying, but let's go take a look at the race. <laughs> well, <laughs> this is how my race went, except we Tony Hawk pro skated it and kept her going. <laughs> I lost one spot from that move. So that's a tough race. That is a tough race. We started second, finished fourth. I did not have the pace for the front couple guys for sure. Uh, starting second when, um, let's see, let's go back into the cockpit and we'll go to lap one. So this start was really tough up here. It's a little greasy and when he goes, I just have such a hard time going because what he does from the lead is he's able to turn down the track. I should have matched him and turned down the track with him, but I didn't. So I, I had a really bad start, and which allowed him to pass me. Usually I don't think that third should be passing second here because of the lines, but because I didn't know to turn down off the start there, that cost me this spot. But that was okay because both these guys were crazy fast. I tried my best to keep up with them, but I just ended up getting my tires too hot, just trying to match their pace. Because you can see here, like our ones, I'm just getting a little too low all the way around. Like, and they can cut, they see how they, they cut the track like that? You can do that if you get a high entry into one. The scary part about a high entry into one though is it's easier to spin out than this low entry. So I was playing it a bit conservative, but by playing it conservative in the moment, I'm actually making my tires hotter. So I didn't, that was, that was kind of the moral of the story there. You just got to get really comfortable with this line. So like you see, I slide up a bit too high there because I'm not as much on the brake as I can be. And I was just scared to be more on the brake. So um, the brake bias, everyone's running 68 pretty much. That's where I was too. It's just more about being a good short tracker. And I'm not necessarily the best short tracker. I know I won Langley, but I just never felt like I was that great at short tracks. And this kind of shows why. I'm just not as uh, confident on the brakes as some of these best guys are. But my line isn't the worst, like I got third, it's not the, or not, I didn't get third, but I was running third, it's not the worst in the world. But it's just like everyone else is running with a lot more confidence to enter high and then stick to this line. You see how that's pretty much what everyone's doing? I'm just entering too low and sliding up too high, all because I'm just a little bit worried about using the brake. See, entering too low, sliding too high. And it's just, I'm just not using the brake enough like it's fast in the moment but you can you can just kind of see how I'm wearing more tires than they are so that that's kind of my tip to you guys like really get comfortable with using a lot of brake on these corner entries like you see there I slid up because I was afraid to hit the brake because I entered higher than I usually do so once you're comfortable with that once you get in a rhythm with that it, you can actually be pretty fast pretty uh, consistently and now we'll get to the funny part um, of the race uh, lap 22. So, Larry, unfortunately, magnet walls. And as he's pulling off the wall after magnet walling, he gets into him, which gets into me, which is just really unfortunate. And I thought my race was over. I'm like, oh, there's no way. Like, when you're, when you're seeing this, you just kind of think, well, especially when I'm like this, like, you think that your race is over, but <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know how I didn't get a meatball there. I just like gracefully went up and grinded the wall and then came back down and just carried on like nothing happened. Now my car was broken. It was slow as heck, but uh, we were able to hang on to fourth because there was a lot of carnage and 
Everyone's got damage of some sort. Jordan chased me down all the way. Almost got to my bumper. But I was just easing it around. I don't. I still don't really want to give too many tips on the end of the run. I just assume that the lines are, are just going to be the same, except with a little more patience, a little more smoothness. But it's all about trying to get that, that hard breaking into the corner so that you can keep it kind of pinned on that line and not use too much tire. See, I'm doing kind of doing it right there, except I'm just really slow, just because that's how... Like, let's see how much slower I am than the leaders. Let's go take a look at the leaders' last couple laps. So they're running, actually, 21.4. I mean, I guess I wasn't that slow, huh? Well, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm fast at the end of the run. That's kind of surprising. But uh, I think they were just battling the whole time, so their tires were kind of given out. There's no way they're shifting. I don't believe that. That's a glitch. Yeah, there's there's absolutely no way they're shifting. Yeah, I think Larry was actually the fastest out of everyone at the end here. So you see, there, we're sliding up a little bit more there, but it's not bad. Uh, I definitely would want to try this again to see what I could do without damage at the end there. Uh, I think that my car actually was a bit faster than I expected it to be at the end. Larry just had a lot of pace at the end though. But anyways, that was a good race. Those are my tips for long run. Uh, <laughs> be careful out there. It's a, it's gonna be a, a, a landmines, full of landmines, playing dodgeball with cars, all that good stuff. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you all on the track.